Guys, welcome back to Redstone for Dummies. Today, we're going to go over what is called the OR gate. So basically, a OR gate is always going to output a signal if at least one or two or more of the inputs are on. So it's only going to be off if everything is off. So here we've got, first example, both of them are on and we get an on in return. Only one is on, on. The other one is on, we get on, and if the two are off, we're not going to get anything. So let's go with an example. First, we've got these two inputs, and we have the piston here that is our outputs. So if I turn on one lever, piston goes up. If I turn on the other one, piston goes up. If I turn on both, piston is always up. And if I turn off both, we've got nothing. So this is an OR gate. I'm pretty sure you understand how it works. I don't really need to explain its functionalities. It's pretty straightforward. So the same principle can apply to three inputs. It still works the same way. Again, four inputs, it's still the same. You can go all the way up to whatever you want. Uh, five still works perfectly. And if you want to have even more than that, you might want to consider adding some repeaters because the lines from the side here might get too long for the signal to reach the piston. But again, you can always use repeaters. So this is not really an OR gate because the levers aren't connected to each other, but it still works the same. I've got eight levers here and four lines of redstone dust. And any levers I turn on will um, extend the piston. And as long as there is one that is turned on, the piston will stay extended. It, all the levers, again, have to be off for the uh, pistons to retract and uh, go off. So here we've got an OR gate that uses three inputs and two redstone torches. So here, when we turn on one of these levers, it will power the uh, green block here, which will turn off the redstone torch, and that will turn off this redstone dust, which will turn on that redstone torch and power the pistons. So that might sound complicated. Let me show you an example. So if I turn on the block here, the lever, it goes on, turns that off, turns the torch on, and then the piston goes on. And as long as there is a uh, power going inside the, going towards the green block, everything will stay how it is. So again, if I turn on one, both, well, all of them, they all have to be closed for the system to go off. So here we've got one again with three inputs using repeaters behind every levers. That doesn't really change how it works. It's still going to work the same. As long as they're all closed, it's off. And if there is at least one or more open, it's open. The thing is that when you're using repeaters, it prevents the signal from one lever to go back to another lever. So here, if I power this one here, it's going to go like this and it's going to stop at the repeaters and it can't go further than that. So it prevents the signal from going backwards towards your inputs. So that's also an OR gate. The thing is, it's vertical instead of being flat on the ground. So here we've got our two inputs, which will uh, power the pistons that are beneath the red block here. That's great right here so as long again as one of them is powered it's going to uh, power the repeaters and if both of them are powered well it, it stays powered and again they have to be closed at the same time to have the pistons go off here's a quick example of how it works so when i turn on this lever it powers that redstone dust which will turn off this redstone torch when i turn on this lever it powers the repeater goes all the way to the pistons powers the pistons when this redstone torch is powered, it powers that redstone dust, which uh, turns off that redstone torch. And if this one is turned off, it turns off that redstone dust beneath it. If I turn it on, you're going to see that it's going to inverse just like that. This goes on, torch goes off, torch goes on right here, which powers the circuits below, and then that powers the pistons. So it's pretty straightforward. You can also make an OR gate as big and as long as you want, but don't forget that if it gets too long, you're going to have to use repeaters to uh, extend the signal. So here, all these 10 levers are connected to this redstone dust, which will, uh, however, whichever I turn on will power the redstone dust and power the piston. So it doesn't matter which one I turn on. Here we go. It 
power the piston, power the piston, and as long as there is one that's turned on, I can't have it to go down. So they are all gonna have to be closed for the piston to go off. Alright guys, that will do it. I hope you now better understand how an OR gate works. So guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed that, please click the like button, subscribe, go see my Facebook page to get updated when uh, whenever I update a new video. And again, thanks for watching guys and have a good day.